Welcome to the video. Um, my name is IJ Cards. This is my first video. Um, well, I got three packs to open today. Guess let's get in it. I guess we're gonna start off with the tops hanger box. 67 cards. Um Hopefully we pull something good. Last time I opened one of these, I pulled some good stuff. Nothing really special, special, but still, so I'm trying to find my thing to cut the boxes open with. I don't know what I did with it. Hmm. That's, oh, there it is. If I can pick it up. Having man hands with little objects sucks. Tell me I'm wrong. Okay, we'll put this over here for now. Just like so. The only thing I don't like about these hanger boxes is, like, they don't come in packs. They come in just the bottom, usually. Yeah, they come in like that. I, I just think they can get damaged easier. Like that. Well, we got a Just Jose and we got a Durbin. Start us off. Okay, let's see how I want to set this up. Alright, let's get rid of all the trash. Let's throw it down here real quick in the trash bin. Whoa! Yeah! Um. I'm not a. I'm a big fan of tops, but Panini's where it's at, but for me, that's what I think, but it doesn't seem as tradable lately. Okay, so base. George Meadow. Spencer Howard, Tyler Gilbert. We got some good card in there somewhere. Keeps poking itself out a little. I kind of like these action photo cards of people sliding in. I haven't seen them in a while. That and the triple, I guess triple threats is the best thing to call them. Toronto Blue Jays. I met a guy that played for the Toronto Blue Jays. He got kicked off because he couldn't stop smoking weed. Or that's at least what he told everybody. Who knows? He might be capping. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, there's one rookie. There's another rookie. Furious Stars, Harvard Hayes. Jacob Stalling. Mm, 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 mm. Another rookie card. Aaron Clement. Clement. Don't know. Some new white guy. Uh, Kristen. Carson Kelly, not Kristen. San Diego Padres, Petco Park wins. Do, 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 do. Here's our first, I guess, hollow. Or one of our first hollows. Jake Erat. Or Radia. However you say that. Mm, has a little bit of weight to it. Oh, no, no. We'll put that there. Terry, the 35 year inserts. And let's see here. Freddie Freeman. 
stars of the MLB. Oh, there goes my Mikey. Mikey's not worth anything yet, but he will be. There's a Bryce Harper. That has a chance of something, maybe. Oh, it looks like we might have an auto. Nope. Erin Banks, Chicago. Is it numbered? No, it is not. But I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the sleeve. Where did I do with my sleeve? Ah. Yeah, there they are. Let me just grab it real quick. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's a pretty dope card. Most of these have been going for something. Not much. Not not what I've seen. More base cards. Kirby Burns. A rookie card. Another rookie card. The only thing that sucks about rookie cards is it's like an investment. They're not worth anything unless they do something. But that's the chance you take. Like, they sell packs where it's just rookies and stuff like that. I mean, they're all good and dandy and all that, but you might get a rookie that signed a two-year contract, and he's gone. And that card's worth nothing. Or he might sign for two years and go to the Yankees and do extremely well. Or he might already be on the Yankees, like Lewis Gill. It's just the luck of the draw. Another rookie, Matt Verling, Sean Antonia. I probably show he, uh, I'm sorry, I probably chopped the living daylights out of that, but it'll be okay, I hope. Michael. One last rookie card. Let's see here. Jose Ramirez. Alright, that was the Topps 22 series. Looking for an autograph card, but we got a relic. Or at least I think that was one of the relics. What'd I do with it? It's right here. Chicago SB1B. Really dope card. Put that right there. No rookies that really stood out to me. And then we got Trey. We got Jake. And we got Brian. And then we got a Bryce Harper. I hope Bryce Harper does good again this year. I really do. That's just for us to find out. And hopefully we'll find out soon. Take down the Mac Jones for now. Okay, let's move on. Let's work to the next hanger box. Dang it, I lost the cutting thing. Oh, there it is. I was about to say. Oh my goodness. I'm losing everything. I'd lose my head if it was connected to me, man. I swear.
hanger box exclusive. I know the hollows are okay, but I'm not a big fan of hollows. Like, personally, everybody's looking for the big. Oh, you didn't see that. That was a really good card right off the bat. Or at least it looked like it. Hopefully, it's numbered. But only time will tell. I've been pulling a lot of Aaron Judge out of these hanger boxes lately. That's just me. Joe Morgan. Omar. Aaron Judge. I mean, yeah, it's his base card, but you can get two bucks for it. Just somebody that looked for Aaron Judge a lot. Clayton Kershaw. That's another guy. Or at least I think it's another guy. I don't know. You just... See, going out to card events and stuff like that, you just gotta find who you're looking for. Either that or selling on eBay. It's just whoever finds it. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes it could take a week. Sometimes it takes months. You just gotta get the luck of the draw sometimes. These retro cards are pretty cool too. Logan Webb. I don't. I'm. I'm not old. No offense to the older guys out there that collect cards and stuff like that, but I don't really know anything about the old heads. That's just me though. I mean, I know there's. Babe Ruth, stuff like that, but yeah, other than the big names, I don't know any of the little names. Josh Donzel. I try to keep all the retro cards in a pile, just because, like I said, you go to a card event, you sell them at a table, people, the older guys like to go through the retro cards. They like to find somebody they know and somebody they grew up watching. It's just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you just get lucky. Like me personally, when I go to card events and I sell stuff, I like to take the base cards out and sell them. Just have a good time. Get to know people. Get to know the trade. You gotta help the card community out sometimes. Rated rookie AJ Axel. Randy. I pulled one of him the other day. Diamond Kings and Colton Welker. Mm -mm -mm. Another rated rookie. A Babe Ruth insert. It's not numbered, so... Not really worth anything, but it's still a cool card. Actually, I'll put it with the retros. Another rated rookie. We're getting there to the better cards. Just slowly but surely. Another Diamond Kings. A Ronald. That's a really good card. Or at least I, I like Ronald. Ronald's one of my bigger guys at the moment. Joshua Gray, rated rookie. Jordan Alvarez. He hit pretty big last year. Jake Berger. <laughs> the first card I've pulled of him in a while. And who is it? 150 points. Oh. I thought it was a backwards card. I feel dumb now. But if anybody wants this, first person to watch it.
there you guys go hope you guys enjoy Panini Rewards card I haven't pulled one of those in a while it's pretty dope kinda nice how they give stuff back to the community every now and again personally I don't like buying cards online I not like that but like the panini thing where you can buy and sell cards and stuff like that through the app whatever i personally like to have the card on hand well we've reached the orange parallels or, or yeah that's what they're called i think oh i lost the box well it'll be okay correct me if i'm wrong that's all i can tell you to do oh damn i got my poster a Lucas Galetto. I probably just chopped that all again. Dun, 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 dun. Lewis Robert. A retro orange. Dun, 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 dun. Joe Abel. Well. We got a backwards card, so it's either signed. I personally like the signed cards that are on the card, not stickers. But that's just me. Stand the man. That's that's great. Holy smacks. And we got another one right behind it. Here, let's let's. We got to throw a card in there so you guys can't just. Yeah. You know how it'd be sometimes. Stan the man. Oh. No, it's not a signature, but it is an orange and red parallel. That's pretty cool. Maybe this one will be one. Eli Morgan. What do we got? You know what? Nah, you guys aren't getting to look at any of the next cards. Just because... Oh, no. Too deep. That's not what she said. A rated rook eye. Uh, rookie, not rook eye. You guys didn't hear that. Eliminators. Garrett Cole. And a Marvel's. Hmm. Number 27. That's a pretty dope card. Centering looks a little off. I feel like his head should be under the A a little bit more. I mean, these Marvel cards are cool and stuff, but I just don't see a lot of people buying them unless it's actually somebody that's really, really dope. But I like it. I like the Marvel cards. Matter of fact, I have two football ones that are in my drawer right down here. That's for another date. All right. And here's the Garrett Cole. Pretty dope card. All right. Let's grab all of our rookies. All of our base cards go over here to the side for now. Maybe. Ooh, did I miss something? Hold up. Yes, yes, I did. There's Statue of Liberties on the side of that card. I have not seen that before. I'm gonna have to look into that. That's pretty cool though. I had not seen that. Let's put it over here with the. Ah, there goes the Mikey again. That Mikey Williams card's only like $2, but like I said, when Mikey hits the league, that card would probably be worth something. But, it's an investment. Just gotta hope for it. What'd I do with the other rookies? Aha, there they are. Now, we have our tops hanger box. Let's put the retro cards over here. You gotta go through these cards when on my own time. 
or who knows maybe you guys can if anybody actually watches this I hope somebody watches this maybe I will look the cards up and all that on my own time and give you guys prices and stuff like that because that's something I don't see a lot of is people telling people how much it's worth stuff like that you have to do the research yourself I mean yeah it takes the fun out of researching it yourself but it also can be a headache sometimes especially when you can't find the card that's that's the big pain is not being able to find the card especially the card you're looking for Okay, we got. I don't see any. I take that back. I think there's one really thick pack, and it's that one right there. So we might pull a jersey or something like that. Only time will tell. Let's save it for last, though. Okay. Oh, wait. Ah, yeah. Start off with this pack. Some of these packs be a little difficult. I'm done, man. I swear. I don't know. I, th I think it's the Bowman packs. I I don't know if it was just those that day, but I could not get them open to save my life. It was bad. Oh, I bumped the camera. Okay, let's do it like this. Base. Matt Olsen. Zach Short. Andrew Henney. Henney, whatever. Another base. Carson Kelly. He can't remember. I feel like he did good last year, but I might be tripping. I didn't really watch baseball last year. I didn't have time to. Just now getting back into the hobby, which kind of sucks. Everything's going up so much, it's not even funny. I used to be able to buy a thing of cards for 20 bucks. Now it's 30. The good boxes are 50. This thing just going to Walmart and stuff like that. My favorite place to go right now is Target, but they don't, they limit you at my targets to like five things like you can get five small little packs like this and that's it you can't get no hanger boxes or anything like that uh, Michael Cabrera ooh Mike Trout ooh it's numbered okay 369 out of 2022 that's pretty dope a uh, Mike Trout it's a chrome that's going to be a good card. And a, it's a little heavy. It's a little bent, though. Just a little. I mean, centering. Looks like this hip should is a little off. Other than that, it looks okay. Hopefully, it's in between specs. Might send that off. In a bays. New York Mets. Okay. Next pack. Let's go from this side. There was four over there for some reason. Ah, that's right. I think there's seven packs in this box. Oh yeah, there is. Okay. Thought I was tripping. Rookie card right off the bat. Matt Verlin. Show you Ontario. I keep chopping that man's name. I'm sorry. I probably need to get on Google Translate, type it in, and read out the spell. Pulled another one of him today. Another rook. More San Diego. Just guys having fun. what I miss about the sport I miss playing myself just I wasn't no good at ba well, I was good at baseball but I stuck to my roots basketball 
That's what I'm good at. That's what I, I love to pull basketball cards. I think you guys could tell. I got a LeBron. That card's not really worth anything, but it's pretty dope. Um, I'm a big LeBron guy. And a Michael guy, if you can tell by the poster, but that's just me. Oh, got another one. I'm surprised it's not backwards. Somebody was calling me, I'm sorry. Ricky Henderson. And a Yater. One second, guys. It's going to be a little shaky. I can't hit the... Wait, where's the V? I can't see the V. Oh, I'm tripping. I was looking at the wrong side. Come on, tripod. Not space. I meant to hit the V. Man. Video. Alright. Let's try to get this back centered, focused, back a little bit, down. Let's get to the right of it. Okay, now let's get rid of this light just a tad bit for y'all. Yeah, that works. I hope. Women. Love y'all, but trying to make a video here I need to get a camera but like I said this is my first video if it takes off it takes off if it doesn't take off I'll figure it out wait was that a rookie nope na, 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 na. I don't feel like my first video shouldn't have been this long but you gotta get out there somehow. You gotta take a risk. You gotta, gotta live life to your fullest potential. And if you don't take risk, you don't go nowhere in life. Because if you don't go nowhere, you don't end up nowhere. La Cruz, that's great. I like that. Mm, and an Aaron Judge. Whew. He's been hot lately. No, we need to go this way. We gotta go that way. Then that. Yeah, magic. I don't know. I'm just orthodox. I I can't. Not orthodox. Uh, whatever that big word is that people use nowadays. You gotta try to keep it even as much as possible. It's a pretty dope card. Lost his helmet. Hmm. I don't remember seeing them in that jersey. I don't really pay attention to the Rays either. They don't seem like they go anywhere. No offense to the Rays fans or anything like that. I'm just not into the Rays. A waiter Franco. Christian Yelch. We have a blue parallel, it looks like. A Brady Singer. Singer. And a Joe. Joey. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Not a lot of rookie cards. I'm really surprised. Either that or because the symbols are so small I keep missing them. I didn't really pay attention to the draft this year. I paid attention to the bigger names. 
people I thought that were coming up. Oh, a rookie right off the bat. He looks a little old to be a rookie. Eh, that's just how the world is nowadays. Everybody that looks like they're 12 is 30, and all the people that look like they're 30 are 12. Jake Cousins. Christian Walker. Miami Marlins. Groom. Mike. Another rookie card. Reed. Marty. Yeah, we gotta flip it back over here in a second. Gavin Sheets. Mike Trout. Am I tripping? I think... I can't think straight. I think Mike's going for something right now. I feel like that was missing a card. That's just me. Who knows? Mike Trout might be an insert of some sort. I know he's still playing, so he's not like an insert insert. Like what uh, Babe Ruth and all them are. His good better cards. So I'm just oh, this is just the cards. I thought something was trying to touch my hand. Pereira. Rookie Jackson. Gotta flip it right back over. Beaver. Seeger. Flip it right back over again. Looks like we got a 35th anniversary. Austin Meadows. And a Buster Palsy. Last pack. I think was the thickest pack. Maybe we'll get something. Is there even a guarantee in here? Nope. Oh, well, there's a relic. There's a guaranteed relic card, I think. One, yeah. Guaranteed relic. Oh, there is a thick card in here. That's even better. We got a relic. There's another Bryce Harper. A base Bryce Harper. Tripping. I thought I, I just saw the face and thought it was somebody else. Da, 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 another rookie. I didn't really see him throw this year. Congratulations, player medallion card. Boston Red Sox, Raphael Devers. Then we got a Gliber. Torres and uh, and a Jose Ramirez. Well, that does it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and go like the Instagram at IG underscore cards and have a blessed day.